guys, how's it going? Me, John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Numb by Linkin Park, due to the fact that uh, Chester Bennington recently passed away, so this is a little tribute to him, okay? Uh, let's get straight into it. So, to play along with the track, uh, you need a capo, and you need uh, to put it on the second fret, okay? And we're going to play E minor, C, G, and D. But we've got this little... So we've got this, this little melody at the beginning, right? So what I'm doing there, I'm just using my third finger or your pinky, it doesn't really matter. And on the B string, the second string, I'm playing three, sorry, O, three, O. And I'm forming that E minor and playing O, three, O. Then with my third finger or my pinky, I'm playing the top E with my pinky or my third finger. And then the second fret, the third fret, and then the second fret, my top E. So back to the beginning. Then play a C. And what you want to do then, take your first finger off and play that open B, which is the second string. Then with my pinky, I'm doing that, right? So with the C, to G. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, back to the beginning. B string. O, 3, O, E minor. Top E, 3, 2, and play C. Then take your first finger off and play open B. Put your pinky on the third fret on the B string, then open again. Play a G. So I'm playing the G with my second finger here, my third finger here, and my pinky on the top E here. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I'm removing my first finger, sorry, my fourth finger, and putting my first finger in the second fret, then playing the D. So if we go from the C, O, 3, O, G, put your first finger in the second fret, remove the pinky, play a D. Slowly from the beginning. Okay, so there's the intro for you. Now, uh, to play the rest of the song, we're just going to use open chords, okay? Obviously, this is the acoustic version, so... It's just going to be E minor. So, E minor, C. goes to C, D, E minor, G, and again, C, then 
we got the chorus. verse and the chorus sections now the only other bit you need to learn is the bridge okay and if I play it for you it kind of happens at the end of the verse okay and it goes C so that's the end of the verse from the E minor So what I'm doing there, what the chords are, C, D, E minor, F sharp over D. This will probably be a bit unfamiliar to you guys. And I'm playing a normal D, except I put my thumb on the thick string to cover the second fret, which is now the second fret because we've got the capo, right? Um, or we'll call it the fourth fret if you like. That could be a bit tricky. So instead of doing that, you can actually put your first finger on the second fret on the thick string, bottom E, and you can put your second finger on the G string, the third string, and that works just as good, okay? A G, Go back to that chord there. So the way I do it slowly, E minor, F sharp over D, G, F sharp over D, C, B7 on the end. So there you go guys, Num by Lincoln Park. Practice the chord positions. There's a few new shapes there for you. Practice the timing. There's a, there's a lot of down, down, up, up, down, up. There's a lot of that in there. Down, down, up. And for the bridge, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 Okay, so hopefully you've got all the parts there. Keep up the good work, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do these lessons every week. Please send me requests if you've got any requests. Can't do them all, but I'll try and do as many as I possibly can. And uh, please give me a thumbs up because it helps my ranking. And I'll see you the same time next week. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.